Gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. I got a treat a special for you today. <laughs> yeah, I'm just imitating uh, AVE. Anyways, this today is a razor. It is called a Rolls Razor 1927 LTD. Although I don't think uh, it was made in 1927 uh, according to the research I did on the internet. It was probably made between 1930 and 1950. Now this is heavy. I don't know how much this weighs, but probably a pound. It's it's very impressive how heavy it is. So, anyways, uh, let's uh, take it apart, and uh, I'll show you how this razor works. So, you press a button here, and then one panel comes off. This is a strop, and then. You press the button on the other side. Well, hold on. Let's take off the razor first. Let's take off the handle here. And we'll take off the uh, the blade. This is a solid piece of steel. This is not a disposable blade. Alright, and let's take off the other panel. Just trying to figure out how this works. There we go. And this is the hone. It's, um, I guess it's an oil stone. And this is what you use to hone and strop the razor blade. This is really an impressive mechanism. Uh, on the inside there's like, like, there's like a gearing ratio. And when you strop and you hone your, your razor blade, which attaches over here, now you see this turns like that, but when your your razor blade is attached and you hone it, right, you, you put your own, I'll show you in a minute, I'm going to put the hone at the back. Now if I put pressure with my finger, I can still push it forward, but yet I'm preventing this to turn. So how this works is that it puts pressure on the blade against the hone, and when you push it, it sharpens the, the blade and it, on the pull stroke, same thing, right? The blade hits against the uh, oil stone and it stops and it puts like a significant amount of pressure as you can see the indentation of my finger and then you sharpen again. Okay, so let's sharpen the blade. So we're going to put the, uh, the hone or the oil stone and you cannot uh, interchange each side like the the strop and the hone has its own side and if I put the, the hone on the wrong side I, it won't fit so let's try this side here see it's not fitting so it goes on the other side okay so now we're going to take the, uh, the blade and you just put it in. There's like a hole there in the middle and you push it and then you turn. And there's like two little spring here that holds tension on the blade. So here's how you sharpen it. You pull, right? It puts a significant amount on the hone and on the push it flips the blade around and it sharpens the other side of the blade. I suppose you can put a bit of, a little bit of oil on the hone too. Um, I, I personally I don't like oil stones. I think water stone does a better job. It sharpens much uh, faster also. But this is how you sharpen your blade. Okay, now to strop the blade. This is your strop here. Okay, first I want to show you something important. When I sharpen the blade, you can see you push the blade into the oil stone. Same thing on the pull stroke. The blade flips and the blade is being pushed into the oil stone and so on. 
But stropping is different. Stropping is gonna go on the pull side. That's why these two plates are not interchangeable. So now let's take out the, the home plate. Yeah, I keep forgetting how to take this apart. There we go. Okay, now on the strop side, it the blade is gonna pull against the strop. So this is how I see pull, reverse side, and it's pulling against again against the uh, strop pull 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 and this is how you strop your blade now I will tell you I um, I tried shaving with this blade I uh, I, I sharpened it with the uh, you know the supplied uh, oil stone and then the supplied strop and uh, it wasn't very sharp so I don't think the system is very effective and as a matter of fact from the research I, I did on the internet the people that bought this razor way back then um, they quickly put it in their drawers because it was not very effective it's not that it's not a good blade it's it's the uh, it's the sharpening stones and the strop it's 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 not the best but anyways to take off the blade again you just pull uh, or turn and pull and then there's the handle here and um, there's a, like a, a little ball with a spring it's, it's pretty fascinating the quality and this they can make such high quality in like in the 1930s so anyways this slides on there and there's the the ball bearing pushes against the steel so it's quite a, a snug fit now I've already sharpened uh, this blade on my um, 8000 grit whetstone and then I stropped it on, on a good large um, high quality strop so it's pretty sharp. I shaved with it after and um, it, it shaves pretty good. It feels like you're shaving between a uh, um, double edged safety razor and a straight razor. Actually, when you shave with this, it feels more like you're using a straight razor. It shaves incredibly close like a straight razor. And, and I have shaved with a straight razor for six months, almost every single time. And um, it does a really good job. It, 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 a straight razor gives you an incredibly close shave. But I always had trouble doing my neck. I guess the angle of the hair and uh, the beard and my neck, um, this, the... Uh, straight razor uh, yeah I can do it but you know you got to be careful not to cut yourself so um, I don't shave with this anymore sometimes I will do my cheeks after I finish shaving with this so I get an incredibly close shave but uh, even with this here if you go uh, against the grain and you pass multiple times you can get an incredibly uh, close shave with this I've been shaving only with this here for the last three years I will never ever go back to my Gillette Mach 3, it's uh, an expensive gimmick and uh, gives a rash, just as it gives you a better quality shave in my opinion. And um, if you do research on the internet, uh, double edged safety razor, um, go on YouTube, you will see that people that uh, traded their, uh, that changed their <coughs> Mach 3 razor for this here will never go back because uh, this in most cases caused less irritation, especially after you get used to it. And you, you pay like 40 bucks, 30, 40 bucks on Amazon for the razor and it'll last you a, li a lifetime. And the blades are like 15, 15 cents each. These are my blades. blades. I really like these Astra Superior uh, Platinum Blade. And um, yeah, they do a good job. 15 cents a blade. Um, I shave every th three third day. So uh, one blade will last me a month. So for 15 cents a month, I can shave. All right, let's go back here to this uh, this old razor. Um, so yeah, so like I said, I sharpened this on my whetstone. So I'm gonna show you. Um, it, it cuts pretty good. So yeah, this is the right side here. So as you can see, it uh, it cuts really nice now. 
All right, we'll put this back in the case. Okay. And um, this is not how it goes here. The, uh, the blade has to go over here, so when you put it away, you just push it like so here. Okay, and the handle goes like this right here. And this is how it goes. And then finally, uh, we're going to put back the, uh, the honing plate. These razors are sometimes described as made by the Rolls-Royce company. Not so, but the name undoubtedly chosen to evoke the Rolls image of luxury and quality. The Rolls, the wetter trademark was registered in the US in 1950. The first use was in 1916. The US patent for the method of attaching the blade to the handle was filed in 1925 and issued in 1930. The name Rawls Razor 1927 LTD was used in advertising. The razor was still manufactured and sold in the 1950s. Several models have been made. Pre-1930 and gold-plated models seems to be the rarest. Older razors do not have a Greek pattern on the case. The nickel-plated Imperial No. 2 is the most common. Anyways guys, uh, I just thought you might be interested to see this razor. It's not as rare as you think it is. Um, I looked on eBay, there's about 50 of them for sale. They, they range from $30 to $200 if one's in really, really good shape. But uh, most of them are not more than $80. So, um, alright guys, thanks for watching.